$500 billion more. So it's a total of $530 billion other countries will be putting in to NATO. And NATO now is very financially sound. It's very strong, far greater than anybody ever thought. If you look at Secretary General Stoltenberg's remarks, he was very generous in his remarks about what I've done for NATO and what our country has done. But what I've done in terms of getting other countries to put up money, because they weren't putting up money, and now they put up money at a level like uh, has never been seen before, actually. Has actually never been seen. So uh, I want to thank everybody that was there, and maybe especially uh, Mr. Stoltenberg, who's really a terrific man. I think he's done a fantastic job at NATO. So the Secretary General has my great thanks. That was a tremendous success. Uh, and I have to say, you know, it wasn't reported accurately, but that's okay. But the relationship I have with other countries is uh, really good. Now, they can't totally love me when I say, yeah, you know, you're not putting up your money, you're not putting up your fair share, you're not spending the kind of money that you're supposed to be spending, because we're giving you protection. You're getting the protection of the U.S. and the greatest military force in the world, and you're not paying. You're delinquent. So I tell some people they're delinquent. Not everybody can love that. You can't say that in two nights a manner, otherwise they're going to be just like they've been for the last 15 years and not pay and certainly not pay up to the 2% level, which, frankly, isn't even that high. Frankly, 2% isn't that high. But I had a lunch yesterday that was great with, I call them the 2 percenters. These are the people that were at that level. There's a total of nine countries, and we had uh, the lunch. And a lot of countries are close and getting closer. And some are really uh, not close, and we may do things having to do with trade. It's, it's not fair that they get U.S. protection and they're not putting up their money, and they're really, I, I call them, I use that term, delinquent. That's exactly what they are. But we had a tremendous success in London, and NATO is in very, very good shape, and the relationships with other countries are really extraordinary. Today, I'm honored to host the working lunch with ambassadors representing countries on the United Nations Security Council. I want to thank our U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Kelly Craft, for joining us and doing an extraordinary job at the United Nations. Thank you very much, Kelly. You're doing fantastically well. The United States holds the rotating presidency of the U.N. Security Council for the month of December. During our lunch, I will outline America's priorities and ask our distinguished guests from other nations how we can best work together. They have a lot of great ideas. We've done this before. We've learned a lot. And it's been really quite an interesting time for me. Today, our nations face a range of shared security threats, including terrorism, drug trafficking, illegal migration, cyber attack, and the spread of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons. And we're working very hard on those problems, especially the last three. There can be nothing more important. The Council must take action to confront these and other dangers facing the world. That also includes the behavior of the Iranian regime, which has killed hundreds and hundreds of people in a very short period of time. Uh, they're killing protesters. They turn down their internet system. People aren't hearing what's going on. I would like to see the media get involved in that and go in and see what's happening, because it's not a good situation. It's a horrible situation. It's something that uh, that is going to be a big scandal throughout the world very soon. They're killing a lot of people, and they're arresting thousands of their own citizens in a brutal crackdown in recent weeks because they're protesting. And I think the media should get involved in that. I don't know that they will because they have their own reasons, but the media should absolutely get involved in that. America will always stand with the Iranian people in their righteous struggle for freedom. They're not being treated properly. All of that money is being wasted on weapons and on other things, and they're not treating their people properly. And their people in all over the all over the country, they're rioting and they're protesting and they're very unhappy. We also call on Security Council members to join the United States in our vital efforts to promote religious liberty around the globe. The world is more secure when people have the right to follow their convictions and to worship in peace. And we've been very strong on that. And getting back to Iran, uh, I, I do have to say that I think the Iranian situation could be fixed very quickly and very easily. And it could become really something special. 
as it was at certain points of time. There are certain points of time where it was doing very well, but for quite a long time it's been doing very poorly, but it could be it could be fixed very quickly. But we have people that just don't want to do that. For some reason, they just don't want to do that. They don't get it. But I want to thank everybody for attending the lunch today. I think what I'm going to do is go around. These are very important people. These are people in their own countries that are at the top level and uh, really uh, have great ideas. I learn a lot about their countries. And uh, I'd like to just maybe uh, we'll start with Kelly, and she'll introduce herself. and just say a couple of words, and then we'll go around the room and uh, introduce the representatives from these very important countries. Please, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. And, you know, um, it is such an honor for anyone to serve a president, but for me to serve a personal friend and this particular president is such a great thrill, so much so that I felt like today I was bringing home all my boyfriends and the girlfriends to meet my family. So I was just so, so very excited. And uh, he has taught me well the importance of being a business leader first when you're putting your country first. Because I think within the Security Council, to be transparent, as the President has, has made very clear to countries, and accountable, and being efficient, and just with NATO, and demanding the 2%. I think that's very important that we hold people accountable. And as a Security Council, we all have the same values, and that is uplifting people that have less than we have. And that's something that the President has told us well in the United States. The people that elected him are those very people that didn't have a voice. And that's what we are all about in the Security Council. And I'm very proud to introduce you to perhaps the strongest council that I believe the United Nations has that's very good. Thank you very much, Kelly. Please. Mark? Um, I'm uh, Mark Christin. I'm the ambassador of Belgium. Good. So it's a privilege to be here, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you also to Kelly for organizing this. I think it's, it's really good. a great moment for us. Thank you. And I just met your representatives over the last mm -hmm. two days, as you know. So it's very good. Thank you very much. Please. Mr. <coughs> President, I'm Zhang Jin, the uh, permanent representative of China. Thank you for inviting us uh, to the White House. Now, we have made a tour around this uh, a number of rooms, uh, the green one, the red one, and also the China room. Good. And we are very much <laughs> impressed. That's true. And we are very much impressed by the decorations, and do wish you and your family and all colleagues a Merry Christmas yes. and a Happy New Thank Year. Thank you very much. And we are very happy to be here, and we have listened to your remarks very carefully. Yes, indeed, the Security Conference is entrusted with a huge mandate in uh, maintaining peace and security for that purpose. It, it needs our cooperation, needs our unity. And we are happy to see that uh, Kelly Craft is uh, leading us in December. Yes. And uh, she's really doing a great job. Uh, she asked me to say so. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Uh, but we are very much impressed by uh, the way uh, uh, she is really uh, leading the Security Council. And uh, indeed, it's our really common responsibility to work together, to stay united, to make the United Nations strong, and to maintain world peace and promoting Good. security and development. Uh, well, thank, thank you. you. That's beautifully stated. And we're having meetings and discussions with your representatives right now, as you know. So it's yeah. gone along very well. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. My name is Leon Adam, the ambassador, permanent representative of Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory because we, we were not in the NATO <laughs> meeting. <laughs> we, we, we follow everything you did there. You did well. Thank you very much. We thank you very much for welcoming us here. And uh, thank you, Kelly, for your leadership in the Security Council. You, you represent America and the President Trump in the best way as possible. That's Thank beautiful. you. Very much. Thank you very much. My name is Jose Singer. I'm an ambassador, special envoy for the Security Council for the Dominican Republic. I thank you for this lunch. I thank Kelly for convening this. You have a great representative, of Robin Burstein, in the Dominican Republic. She's a great ambassador. Good. And I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Good. Robin's doing a very good job. She year. is great. She's fantastic. Yes. Thank you.
Nicolas de Rivière, I'm the Femen representative of France. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President, for your hospitality. It's a privilege to be here. And thank you also for sharing Kelly with us. Thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you very much. President, I'm Christoph Wolsken, the ambassador of Germany. And um, I was just wondering who you meant when you spoke about NATO. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very interesting conversation <laughs> with Angela. She's a terrific woman. She's really a terrific woman. But we did have that conversation. Okay. Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. And I wanted to thank also for Kelly Kraft. We work very closely together, for instance, on religious liberties. and. Um, Germany is sharing the um, uh, Sanctions Committee on, on North Korea, where we believe that the UN plays a very important role to keep the sanctions in place to make the policy that you conduct on North Korea a, a successful one. And with regard, coming back to the budget, we of course hope that you also think the UN is very important and the US also sure. plays its duty there. Thank you. I think the UN has tremendous potential actually as an organization and it's just doing well. Good leadership right now. Thank you very much. Please. I'm, I'm Dian Chansanjani. I'm the ambassador, permanent representative of Indonesia. We also, we're not a member of NATO, but we're working closely with you on G20. Mm -hmm. I also would like to second colleagues to have Kelly there. Uh, you have appointed Nikki Kelly from the South, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Kelly from the, I studied in the South in, in, in Nashville, so I'm very happy if we have ambassador <laughs> from the Southern part of India. Right. So, right. Thank you very much for having us here. Thank you. Say hello. My name is Mansour al Hutebi, ambassador of Kuwait. Uh, first, I'm really honored to be here, uh, Mr. President. Uh, thank, you thank you for hosting us. And we are very grateful to Kelly, our colleague. She came only three months ago, and she is now presiding over the Council for the month of December. We wish her uh, all the best. Our bilateral relationship between the United States and Kuwait is excellent. Yes, yes. And we will work also to even improve the such. Say hello. I will. Thank you very thank much. You. Good afternoon, President. My name is Nestor Popolicio. I am the ambassador of Peru at the UN. And I would like to thank you for receiving us, for inviting us to this important lunch. And I would like to say that we support fully the program presented by the Ambassador Kelly Kraft for the presidency of the United States during this month in the Security Council. It's a very good program. Thank you for your leadership. Well, thank you very much. Great country. I'm the permanent representative of Poland sure. to the United Nations. I just met with somebody you know very well, yes. right? And I'm so honored because for me it's already for the second time that I'm here in the uh, uh, in White House. Allow me, Mr. President, to say how lucky we are to have a very, a very kind and human leadership of Kelly in the Security Council. Not only Madam President is very professional, but also she tried already in a few days to give the good spirit. So we are good. very enthusiastic. And for Poland, we are so privileged to work closely, of course, in a, within NATO, not only. We share the same values. And uh, Poland will very soon be out of the Security Council, but we always pay attention to the values, not only freedom of religious but also how to uphold the uh, standards of international law. So again, I am so privileged. Thank you very much. We had a great meeting yesterday, I have to say. And he was a member of the two percenters. That means Poland. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was great. so we happen to have lunch also. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I'm Vasily Nibenza, the permanent representative of Russia in the Security Council. We will not be out of the Security Council anytime soon. I, <laughs> I hope not. Thank you for hosting us and for your fantastic hospitality. Thank you for the tour of the White House. We, right. we saw the China room, but we didn't see the Russian room. Oh, we'll Maybe it's the one we'll which is top, top secret here. Yeah? <laughs> and we couldn't discover it. Uh, but we, uh, I, I thought I would be the first one to compliment and to thank you for having Kelly with us. But I was taken over by, by my colleagues. But uh, we fully share. We really enjoy her company in the Security Council. And I think we can do a lot of things together I there. Agree. And you did a good job too. I've heard from a lot of people. Great job. Thank you very much. Please. President, I'm Jerry Majila from South Africa. Very grateful for you to invite us to the White House. We are so happy about it. And thanks for giving us a friend. Kelly's a friend. And we call let's go to council together to South Sudan. While we get together on African issues and um, we followed your Africa strategy. 
and thank you so much for the programs you have in Africa. And next year, South Africa will be chairing the African Union, and I hope we can work together on yeah. peace and security Africa. But thanks so much, President. Thank you. And thanks for sending Lana Marx to South Africa. Yes. She's doing a great true. job already. She's <laughs> all over the show. That's great. Thanks, I hear that. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mr. President, hi there. I'm Karen Pierce from the United Kingdom. It's a real honor, sir, to be here and to have the tour of the White House and to have lunch with you. Uh, I hope a little matter of 1812 uh, might now be laid to rest. This is the most wonderful building, and we are deeply honored to be here. I wanted to thank you as well, sir, for your support for the United Nations by sending us uh, two inspiring uh, appointments. First, Nikki, uh, and now Kelly, as all my colleagues have said. Uh, there's a lot to do together. Uh, another colleague mentioned DPRK, uh, but 2020 will be the anniversary uh, of the UN, and I know, sir, that when you came to uh, the UN the first time, I think you said we needed a better uh, United Nations, uh, and I think we can support you in that, absolutely. Good. I think so. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I am Sven Jürgens, an ambassador of Estonia, and it's a pleasure and pl privilege of being here, and thank you so much for having us here. You mentioned the lunch in London. Just driving here, I read an, an article in one of Estonian newspapers with a, with a funny headline, the two percenters got a free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but I think they needed the push, so thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, it is indeed a great honor for me. Rhonda King is my name. I represent the smallest country ever to be elected to the Security Council, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I think you are familiar with one of the islands um, in the Grenadines, Kanawan. You once had some business yes, interest absolutely. there. Yes, and my, my Prime Minister sends his greetings because yeah. I spoke with him yesterday and told him I was coming here. So he asked me to remind you right. of our beautiful island. Yeah. And I would be remiss if I also didn't join Karen in complimenting you for appointing to, if you look around the table, you would see that there are only four women and only three will be sitting on the council. I'm, we are on our way in. So it was, it's, um, a wonderful thing that you have appointed two very great women um, during your tenure. So I congratulate you on that. And I wish to also compliment um, um, Kelly, because already she has brought, restored a sense of civility and dignity and grace to diplomacy. So I, I congratulate Kelly. I'm looking forward to working with her over the next two years. Once again, it's an honor for me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. President, I'm Mansur Bahati. I am the ambassador of Tunisia. For me, it's a big honor and privilege to be here with you. Thank you for the invitation. And also, I share the views of my colleagues. You sent us a talented, professional, and grace lady. She's doing a wonderful job. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yes, I am the last one. It's Dan from Vietnam. And uh, I have chance to see you the first time in Da Nang, right. in 2017 in APEC meeting. So this is my great honor to be here today at the White House. And uh, I hope that you will visit our region again. Because next year, the Malaysia will be the heart of APEC summit. And Vietnam, the heart of ASEAN EAS. So please come again. Well, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thank you. And say hello, by the way. We had some great meetings in Vietnam, very successful meetings. And the trade is doing very well with Vietnam. Thank you very much. So thank you all very much. Uh, again, uh, this last two days have, have been really amazing, the success of the days. Uh, the amount of money raised was a number that nobody could even believe. And if you add it up, again, it's $530 billion over a very short period of time. Much of it is already coming in by other nations, some of whom are represented here today. So that was really something special. And this will be great. And we're going to learn a lot. And we're going to give some ideas. And we're going to have lunch. And uh, a lot of good things will happen. But I appreciate you all being here. And Kelly, congratulations on doing a fantastic job. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Moving along well. It's moving along very well. Well, we'll have to see. But right now, we're moving along. We're not discussing that, but we are having very major discussions. On December 15th, uh, something could happen, but we are not discussing that yet. We're having very good discussions with China, however. Are you worried, sir, about the state of impeachment might have on your legacy? 
No, not at all. No, not at all. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a big fat hoax. Yes, guys. Mr. Honor, Ron, the Pentagon uh, officials are saying that that you're all considering possibly sending more troops to the Middle East because of the threat. We'll announce whatever we do. We'll announce, but certainly there might be a threat, and if there is a threat, it'll be met very strongly. Uh, but uh, we'll be announcing whatever we may be doing, may or may not be doing. What would you like to see the UN do in regards to Iran and the crackdown and the Cuban? Well, the UN's actually been involved very much with us. Uh, we're already dealing with the UN and dealing very well with the UN. So they're very much involved with respect to Iran and other things. We're <laughs>